I think last year it was incredibly artificial for everyone, for the players, for the staff, when you're watching it on TV, it, even there, right? So I just think it's very artificial. The fans create the ambiance. They, they create the environment. Um, I also think that if you've ever thought how important fans are or are to a game, it amazes me because the results around the world in places that were at one time very difficult to play, now you see, I mean, Liverpool loses, I think, six or seven in a row at home. You, you know that so much is the, is the pressure, the intimidation of the fans, whether it be on the other team or on the home team, to make sure that they play. And so I think it's everything to the game. Any percentage is better than zero, obviously. But uh, I'm looking forward to when we're back wide open and we can get back to a full stadium because, like I said, it's, it's, uh, it's everything to the game. It's everything to our team, um, the environment. There's some very special environments in this league, and I believe that Children's Mercy provides one of those. And so we, uh, we miss having the fans here. We can't wait for it to get back, and when it does, uh, you know, the, the sooner the better. Whenever we've had successful seasons in the past, um, we've always been a team that's probably been in the top three in goals against average. And so every year our objective is to try to be in that world. And so it doesn't change in that we want to make sure that we are a very difficult team to play against defensively. Um, we, we have to be a team that does not give up soft goals. Um, and like I said, we have to make it really difficult for other teams. So um, whether it's the back four or the, the entire 11, they just have to be uh, merciless on defense. When I came here, it was a different vibe for me. It was great for my family. And then the final piece is when the new ownership came in and took over the team, uh, the relationship just was unbelievable. And I've learned so much from them. And, and, you know, I appreciate the fact that they want to be the best in this. They didn't just do it to just say, ah, you know, we own a sports team. They, they really want to be the best. And I love the fact that they try to do everything to be the best. And, and I want to be around that. And so there's no doubt that this is my club. This is the place I want to be. And, and so, you know, the number one core value that we have as an organization is the team is always first. And so it's not about me and how many games. It, it, it's truly about the team and the club. There's no doubt that the right thing happened yesterday. And I, I know that there's been so many things that have happened in the past that have, have never been rectified. I'm hoping, like everyone else, that it's moving in the right direction. I don't, you know, how big of a step, I think only time's gonna tell, but we have to continue to be extremely uh, vigilant in, in, in everything that we do and, and make sure that this stuff is, um, it's just not accepted. And, and we gotta continue to do that. And so we have some great guys on our team. Um, Interesting to hear some of their stories over this past year. And I think there's a different uh, relationship in between the players, in between the staff and the players. Um, and I think it, it, it has been nothing but healthy. So uh, hopefully, hopefully we're in, in a step in the right direction.